12 signs you may have ADHD as an adult. Restlessness. Feeling restless and having inner racing thoughts is one of the most common symptoms of attention deficit disorder. With ADHD, your brain makes less dopamine, the chemical that makes you feel rewarded and satisfied. Without enough dopamine, you're constantly searching for stimulation, overthinking and questioning, like you have an internal motor that never stops. On the plus side, this restlessness is linked with intelligence and creativity, but on the downside, it can cause emotional exhaustion and burnout at the end of the day. Some ADHD patients also have the need to physically move and fidget, like tapping their toes, twitching their feet or shaking their leg constantly. Sign 2 of ADHD is task hopping. An ADHD brain gets bored easily as it doesn't have as much dopamine to make you feel engaged. You may find it hard to focus on a single task, especially boring, repetitive tasks. So you begin hopping from one task to another, searching for something more stimulating. For example, you may constantly switch between different apps on your phone or jump between tabs on the PC rather than focusing on one task until completion. Sign 3 is hyper focus. Now on the other hand, if you find something stimulating and interesting, you may become hyper focused, where you are intensely focused on what you're doing, losing all track of time, which is time blindness. This hyperfocus happens because your dopamine levels spike when something is engaging, making it incredibly rewarding and addictive to focus on. But ADHD brains have a lower baseline level of dopamine, so you tend to lock onto that stimulation. Hyperfocus can be beneficial in some ways because it makes you highly creative, but it can be a problem when it causes you to ignore your priorities. Number four is poor time management. ADHD patients often struggle to manage their time and meet deadlines because they tend to get stuck living in the now, constantly seeking the next immediate reward instead of long-term planning. Another brain chemical called norepinephrine helps you filter out distractions and maintain focus, but in an ADHD brain, norepinephrine isn't regulated properly, making it harder to shift mental gears from one task to another. Increasing your intake of B vitamins can help to balance brain chemistry and help you organise your time better mentally. But I'll talk more about natural solutions for ADHD later in the video. I do want to make it very clear, most of us suffer from the symptoms discussed in this video from time to time. But with an ADHD brain, the symptoms will be constant all of your life, in both childhood and adulthood. Later, we'll talk about how you can get a full diagnosis for ADHD or ADD. Sign number five is being lost for words. With ADHD, your thoughts move incredibly fast, often faster than you can speak. But when you're having a conversation and someone interrupts you, your brain jumps to the next thought before you can finish your sentence. This can leave you feeling lost for words, struggling to recall or remember what you are about to say. You see, your brain is moving too quickly to hold on to the thought and you may get frustrated, drawing a blank mid-conversation. People with ADHD also struggle with word retrieval where you know what you want to say but you can't find the right words in the moment, which is frustrating. 6. Speech Spontaneity You might also find yourself responding or answering someone before they've even finished their question, interrupting them quickly because you feel the need to get your words out before you lose them. This can sometimes create awkward social situations, making you feel embarrassed or frustrated. It happens because of hyperactivity in the prefrontal cortex, the area of the brain responsible for impulse control and decision making. With ADHD, thoughts circulate rapidly, making it difficult to pause, filter responses or wait for the right moment to speak. Sign number seven is emotional dysregulation. 
ADHD doesn't just affect your attention, it also makes it hard to regulate your emotions. You will be more sensitive to stress if you have this because of an imbalance in dopamine and norepinephrine in your brain, making you more likely to feel anxious, restless or hyper alert even when there's no real danger. Adults with ADHD feel emotions more intensely than others and mood swings can seem to come out of nowhere. This can affect your relationships, work and overall well-being, but the good news is that there are many natural ways to manage it which again I'll talk about later. Sign number 8 is forgetfulness. Dopamine plays a role in helping you to form memories, but lower levels in ADHD patients make it harder to store and retrieve information. This may cause you to often lose your keys, forget appointments or you may walk into a room and completely forget why you're there. You might also zone out in conversations, missing important details or instructions leading to misunderstandings. These problems can also be a sign of stress and high cortisol in people who do not have ADHD so it is important to mention that as well. Sign number 9 of ADHD is putting things off. An ADHD brain is always focused in the present, meaning the future doesn't really feel real until it's urgent. This can lead to procrastination, which some people mistake for laziness. You see, your brain has difficulty planning, prioritising and initiating tasks even when you know they're important. This is because your brain craves immediate rewards to boost dopamine, so boring or complicated tasks feel impossible to begin without a bit of external pressure. This can lead to last minute bursts of productivity as the urgency or the stress finally triggers your focus. Sign 10. Poor organisation. People with ADHD often live in messy or cluttered living spaces with papers, clothes or objects scattered around because everything feels like it should be in sight for you to remember it rather than out of sight, out of mind. This happens because your brain struggles to break bigger tasks into smaller tasks to maintain consistent routines. Even when you try to get organised, the effort can feel overwhelming. Sign number 11. Easily distracted. You may easily get sidetracked by something as small as a notification, a background conversation or even a random thought because your brain is constantly scanning for stimulation. Even in quiet environments, your mind can drift, causing you to lose focus on what you're doing. This tends to happen because ADHD affects the reticular activating system. This is the brain's filter for prioritising information, making distractions feel as urgent as important tasks. This is why concentrating on long conversations, reading or completing boring tasks can feel impossible. And sign 12 is some overlapping symptoms. ADHD is often misdiagnosed as anxiety, depression or even thyroid issues because the symptoms can look very similar. For example, an overactive thyroid causes restlessness, impulsivity and difficulty concentrating just like ADHD. Chronic stress and high cortisol can also mimic ADHD symptoms, causing memory issues and intense or painful emotions. Many adults go undiagnosed with ADHD for years, assuming that their struggles are just personality traits or caused by stress or anxiety. This is why a proper ADHD diagnosis requires a full evaluation, looking at lifelong patterns of behaviours rather than just isolated symptoms. Diagnosing ADHD properly. Many people with ADHD lack awareness of their symptoms, but friends, family or colleagues around them often notice these patterns of behaviour. This is why psychiatrists and doctors often ask close relatives to help diagnose them for ADHD accurately. A key tool used in diagnosing ADHD is a structured questionnaire. This evaluates various aspects of your behaviour over a period of at least 6 months rather than just a few days. 
In addition, some medical professionals use neuropsychological tests to rule out conditions that mimic ADHD like anxiety or thyroid issues. Interestingly, advanced imaging such as SPECT scans can also reveal activity patterns associated with ADHD in the brain. How to fix your brain chemistry Although stimulant medications are used to improve focus and minimise ADHD symptoms, today I will be suggesting more natural and healthy approaches to fix your brain chemistry. Start by prioritising your sleep Develop a habit of going to bed earlier, ensuring that you get at least 8 hours of sleep each night. Use white noise, blackout curtains and guided meditations to help you fall asleep faster. Sleeping more increases dopamine sensitivity, which helps to reduce ADHD symptoms naturally. Eating the right foods can also have a powerful impact. Your brain needs protein-rich foods such as eggs, meat and fish to produce more dopamine, which will support focus and motivation. Adding omega-3 fatty acids from salmon, shellfish or an algal oil supplement, which I'll put a link to below, along with walnuts and flax seeds, can improve mental clarity and impulse control by lowering inflammation in the brain. Avoid refined sugar and highly starchy or processed foods as these cause energy crashes and worsen brain fog. I also suggest minimalising your home, throwing away all useless objects and clutter as bringing order to your environment brings order to your mind. You can also use natural supplements which contain tyrosine, theanine, lion's mane and magnesium to further help balance out your brain chemistry. The high quality brain boosting supplement that I personally use every day is called MindLab Pro which contains a blend of ingredients that improve attention. I'll put a link down below to this product if you'd like more information. Another way to improve brain chemistry is by supporting the enteric nervous system in your gut. Your gut contains around 500 million neurons which plays a major role in producing neurotransmitters like serotonin which affects dopamine and mood. Your gut and your enteric nervous system is strongly connected to brain function, a relationship which we call the gut-brain axis. So support these nerves by eating probiotic rich foods like kefir, yoghurt, sauerkraut and pickles along with prebiotic fibres from garlic, onions, leek and nutritional yeast flakes. These will all help your body produce more B vitamins and neurotransmitters that can improve ADHD symptoms. I also suggest limiting your caffeine intake to one cup of coffee a day and avoiding caffeinated soda drinks, especially energy drinks. These stimulants can burn out your dopamine receptors faster, making ADHD symptoms worse. Finally, the single most important thing that you can do to raise your dopamine and improve brain health is engage in daily exercise. Exercise improves blood circulation to the brain, boosts dopamine and norepinephrine and helps the brain produce new brain cells in the hippocampus at any age of life. Does ADHD ever go away? ADHD is a lifelong condition, often caused by development issues in the brain during childhood, injuries to the prefrontal cortex or even complications at birth. However, you can create healthy habits to reduce the symptoms and live a perfectly normal and happy life. ADHD is by no means a disability, as the hyper-focus element can help you to be very creative and powerful in your work. But by using natural and practical methods, you may keep your brain chemistry as balanced as possible and learn to thrive with ADHD or ADD. I also have more information on some of the best supplements and vitamins to fix ADHD symptoms, which you can find by tapping on the video that's on the screen now. I'd like to thank you for watching and I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.